And we're back with more time savers. Freezer meals are a great way to get a hot homemade meal on the table, even if you have a crazy schedule. That's right. And joining us today is Pocatello mom Melissa Lambert with the do's and don'ts of <laughs> freezer meals. Thanks for coming in today. Thank this you. is my good friend Melissa. I love her. <laughs> she is a freezer meal queen. You are always yes. doing this, and you found that it's really helpful, and you do it a lot of different times throughout your life. When is it good to make a freezer meal? When you have got soccer games, when you've got dancing, mm -hmm. when you've, you're having a baby, yeah, surgery. Yeah. Last year I had a surgery. I made 14 freezer meals. I was going to say, do you meals. put nine months of freezer <laughs> meals in the freezer and then like, yeah, this is going to be an easy pregnancy. Here you go. Yeah. yeah. No, but it, no, but like it, it really mm -hmm. and you, you takes a lot of the stress off of, That's oh, right. I got to do dinner. Well, and then you can go and get one out of the freezer you know what's going on for the day and you can go and do whatever you need to do and no worries nice. that's right how long have Dinner. you been freezer mealing i really started last year uh -huh. and i have really been looking into it <laughs> and you and always have them in the freezer yeah, right you yeah. try to have how many on i hand? try to have seven last okay. week we went through three of the freezer <laughs> meals in one really week. busy yes week. okay wow so, yes. some people are scared of freezer meals because you don't no. know what's going to freeze well yeah. and you don't know what's going to be bad. So, what freezes well, what freezes not so well? <laughs> Pasta is not the best. Oh, okay. You want to cook it under al dente. Okay. So, if you do that because it soaks up the liquid. Ah. And so, mm. when it's you're letting mushy. it defrost, uh -huh. it gets mushy. Rice. Uh huh. Is this uh, rice? Gets grainy or? Yes, mushy. Okay. Mm. Not good. Potatoes, raw potatoes turn black. So kind of your starches you yes. just want to keep out of starches. the freezer. And okay. so what I have found is what freezes well is about any of your meats. So I've got taco seasoning okay. or ta taco meat, uh -huh. spaghetti, taco soup. Ah. I've got a chicken soup here. So a lot of those things, if you, like chicken soup, you generally have noodles in it. Is there something yes. you can do then so that you have part of it fresh and part of it frozen? Yes. So, in fact, with this recipe, it calls for rice. Uh -huh. Two oh. cups of rice and some fresh cilantro. Okay. So, you make this, mm -hmm. stick it in the freezer, pull it out the day that you want to have it, mm -hmm. stick it in the crock pot, right before you serve it, you cook up the rice, Okay. Uh -huh. throw on the okay. cilantro, and so you're doing a lot of the hard, the heavy, heavy lifting. Yeah, That's okay. right. ahead of time, and, like and then you twenty can, minutes makes some rice go. Yeah, and you let, you know, kid, let the kids do the spaghetti noodles. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Said, hey, I made all this, uh, and I've noticed that this is like the the toppings and the the, the yes. stuff that goes and, into. Yes. And so your then, pasta, like with so. the spaghetti sauce, then we can go ahead and just do the noodles. Add the cheese, okay. the bread, Bam, done. everything with that. Now I notice some of them are in plastic bags. Yes. Some of them are in the tins. What yes. works well? Um, it depends on what you're doing. With soup and sauces, I like the bags. Okay. Although I have found out today <laughs> that sometimes you have to double bag them. Oh, <laughs> something broke. Yeah. As far as freezing, what's the process? Do you just stick it in the freezer no. like this? No. What, what do I, you do? I like to go and I write on the bags what it is, the date, uh -huh. and the information on it. Okay. And then I get all the air out, flatten it out. And then I can put them in the freezer, and then I, it takes up less space. If you do it, what, like on a cookie uh -huh. sheet, so you put the whole thing in there? And, and you can put the whole thing in the next day once they're all frozen. Go okay. and take the cookie sheet out. Okay. And oh. then they're all still flat, They've and then they can stay. Do you thaw them out before you cook them? Some of them, yes. Some of them, no. Okay. There's a few things that you could just take right out okay. of the freezer and, and stick them stick in the oven. In the, in the crock pot. Oh, the crock the pot. The crock pot is the easiest way to okay. go. <laughs> the talk, any of the soups okay. are okay. great for that. Perfect. Right, Melissa, thank you okay. so much. Okay, yes. get to work. Have to take get to a work. Long time. <laughs> and we'll be right back with your responses to our question of the day.